In this video, we're going to go over welding symbols applied. And the format that I'm going to use is kind of like what I got going on right here. Uh, drawing a T-joint with a welding symbol. We're going to go over what the welding symbol means uh, as far as what the information that's on it and how it's going to go on to the in theory uh, T-joint here. And then we're going to go on the lab and actually get the exact joint. So I mocked this up already. I just tacked the ends right there. So that, that's this right here. That's what this represents. So this is the actual T-joint. And I'm going to put a piece of paper with the welding symbol on out in the lab uh, again to reinforce what we're doing. And then we will actually weld it at, by the parameters that are on this actual welding symbol. So what I'll do now is the first one we're going to do is this one right here. So I'm going to zoom in real quick on this exact joint and this exact welding symbol. And then we're going to go out in the welding and we're going to actually weld it. So, so this in this first video that we're going to do applied welding symbols where we actually go out and do the welding symbol or the welding procedure according to the welding symbol. We're going to do about four different joints on the board here and then out in the lab. So we're going to start with this one right here. And you can see it's a T-joint. It's two-inch plates, top and bottom, eighth of an inch thick. And on this welding symbol, as you can see, there's a fillet weld symbol on the arrow side of the actual uh, reference line. So it's on the bottom of the reference line. So that fillet weld is going to go right here on the arrow side. If it was on top of the reference line, it would go over here, but it's not. So we're going to forget that and go back to the arrow side over here. And you can see in the tail it says GMAW, so we're going to gas metal arc weld this. So what we're going to do now is go out in the lab and actually do this joint. All right, so we're out in the lab here, and you can see there's the welding symbol I drew on a piece of paper with the actual joint. So things you got to ask yourself, which side of that uh, vertical plate you're going to put this fillet weld? It's on the bottom of the reference line, so you're going to go on the left side. So what I'll do is I'll complete the weld now using the gas metal arc welding process. And you'll notice, uh, well, this is about the most basic welding symbol there is. There's no size on it, no nothing. So I'm just going to make it the size that I, I want. And uh, normally you're going to have a leg size on there, but uh, this is the most basic um, welding symbol that you can probably get. I wanted to start off real simple, and we'll move into more uh, difficult uh, welding symbols after this. All right, here's one more look at the welding symbol with the completed weld. And you'll see that I did it on the side that the arrow's pointing because it's on the bottom for arrow side. If it was on the top, it would be on the other side. Here's one last look at the first uh, welding symbol that we're doing. So this is the format that I'm going to do it in. I'm going to do it up on the board in theory. Then we're going to come out here and put one on paper. And then we're going to actually do the weld. So we're going to move into some more difficult ones as we progress here. So let's move into the next one. We're going back up to the board now. We just got done with our first welding symbol and joint. We're moving on to our second here. The first one was very basic. And we're going to progressively get more difficult as we do these, okay? So here's the second welding symbol. So take a look at that. What can you uh, get from the information that's on that symbol? Where's the weld going? What size is it? What process are you using? Things like that, right? So. We're going to look right here at the welding symbol, and you can see, or the weld symbol actually, you can see it's a fillet weld again. So it's on the top of the line, so it's going to tell you that it's going to be on the other side. So the arrow is pointing here, so this is the arrow side. So the weld is going to go over here, right? All right. Quarter of an inch, that's the leg size. So we're going to have to actually get a, a fillet gauge out and measure this after we're done and make sure that, you know, it's a quarter of an inch. So that's going to be right here. right here right that's what we got from this information and then we're going to go on the tail and say an SMAW 8th inch 7018 so we're using the shielded metal arc welding process we're going to use a 7018 rod 8th of an inch diameter so what we're going to do now is we're going to go out in the lab and we're going to actually apply this to a real joint and we're going to weld it up so here we are we're about to weld up this uh, T-joint you see the welding symbol there I've got everything I need to make this happen. You can see I got the rod right in front of it. That's an eighth inch 7018. You can see that's in the tail. We're going to be using this uh, shielded metal arc welding process. And then uh, the weld is going to go on the opposite side of where the arrow is pointing, right? So it's going to go over here. So we're going to weld this up. And I got fillet gauges in my pocket to measure it and make sure it's a quarter of an inch. And I'm not going to go into how to measure a, a fillet weld, but I'll put I did do a video on that. I'll put it in the card. So if you want to you know, learn how to figure out how to measure a fillet weld, just go to the card. So 
So we just got done doing our weld. And you can see it's on the other side from where the arrow's pointing. We use stick, 7018, eighth inch. Let me get a different angle here. You can see the arrows pointing to the one side and we put it on the other side. We did measure it. Good equal legs, quarter of an inch, top and bottom. One more look. Just a quick look at the arrow side, no weld. It's on the other side. So we have completed this weld and we're gonna move on to the next welding symbol and weld joint. So this is our third uh, weld symbol and joint. And this is gonna be a pipe to plate application. So take a look at that welding symbol. What do you know from the information that's on it? Okay, we're gonna break this down here. This is again, fillet weld arrow side. So it's gonna be, the fillet weld's gonna go right here where the arrow's pointing. If it was on the top, on the other side, you'd somehow have to put a fill weld inside the pipe, which is not really all that practical. But uh, So we're going to go arrow side, fill it weld, right? We're, we stuck with our quarter of an inch leg size, okay, because I already have the fill gauge on, so we're going to do another one. Plus, I had a two-inch uh, pipe and a plate that was just scrapped, so it's pretty going to be pretty tight on quarter of an inch to get it around. So and that's my next point here, weld all the way around, right? So a pipe to plate application. You're going to weld all the way around with a fillet weld, quarter inch leg size, using the gas metal arc welding process. So we're, we're going to go out in the lab now, we're going to do this thing. Alright, so here we are at a table, and you can see there's your pipe to plate application. And what we're going to do is a fillet weld, quarter of an inch leg size, using the gas metal arc welding process all the way around that pipe. Arrow side, so it's the side the arrow is pointing at. If it was on the top or the other side, you'd have to weld the inside of the pipe. So let's burn this baby in. I'm probably going to have to do half of it and then reposition and do the other half. So there'll be a start and stop in this, most likely. All right, here's a look at the completed weld. And you can see the fillet weld goes all the way around. Quarter of an inch leg size. We use MIG. Let me get a closer look and then we'll move on to the fourth and final symbol and joint that we're going to do today. This is just a closer look. I did quench it and it rusted a little bit, but you get the idea. That was my start and stop right there in the middle. Didn't do too bad. We were in pretty tight quarters though. All right, let's move on. This is our fourth welding symbol and, and joint here. And you can see again, it's a T joint. And uh, take a look at that symbol, see what you can. Uh, get the information on it real quick and I'll explain it here in three two one all right so fill it well other side so the arrows pointing to this side so it's going to be over here so I'm just going to draw that in real quick so it's a fill it well over here one inch dash two inch so that's the length of the weld and that's the pitch of the weld so you're going to have one inch welds spaced out two inches going across the joint. I'm going to lay that out here in a minute. Uh, and the two inch pitch is center to center. So the one inch weld, you're going to measure at 0.5 inches, two inches over to the middle of the next weld. That's one inch as well. All right. And I'm going to lay that out here in a minute so you can see that and you can get a little bit more clear of a um, view of that, I guess. And then last but not least is gas metal arc welding again. We're all set up out there, so we'll make that up. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'm going to turn this joint like this and then show you the measurements for the length and the pitch of the weld. So this is a side view of that T-joint. I drew the welds in. I think the plate that I cut, I already cut it and intact it. I think it's about 8 inches. So uh, if you're going 1 inch length, 2 inch pitch, what that means is the weld is 1 inch weld and the pitch is the distance between the welds center to center. So see how that goes to the center of the weld there and the center of the weld there, that's your two inch pitch. And I'll lay this out on the, on the steel as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll get some soapstone and wherever there's white, that's where the weld's gonna go. Now, if you do a, uh, a spaced out weld like this and the end is open, you always wanna put a little bit of a weld right here like a half an inch or something just so that it, it doesn't have, because there's obviously a lot of stress right there if that's left open. So you always want to close it out. So we'll go out there and I'll measure it on the actual piece and then we'll weld this thing up. 
So I just marked up the joint here. And you can see I labeled it right there, one inch welds, two inch center to center pitch. And what we're gonna do now is weld this up and then we'll take another look at it after we're done. And we'll wrap this video up. All right, we just got done doing the welds. I should have cleaned my lens because I couldn't see the white lines at all, but I got it in there. It's on the other side from where the arrow's pointing. We'll get another look at it real quick. A closer look. Arrows pointing to the one side. We put the welds on the other side. One more look. And like I said, I couldn't see the white lines. I mean, the four are pretty good. It's that one in the middle that I got a little bit long on. So that's a good look at that uh, staggered weld there. Now, do you like the way I did this? I'm trying to apply it out in the lab. Uh, one, the first weld I did, I didn't video me welding. Would you rather see me doing the welding on the joint as well or not? Comment on it, I guess. But if you like this, hit the like button and I'll know that, you're, that I should do some more of these. Hopefully that helps you apply welding symbols to real life situations. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld and we're outie.